Hello, welcome to another wiki procedure and today we are going to look on how you can apply for a non-governmental organization work permit in Kenya. Down here below, we have given you a link which is going to direct you to our wiki procedure website page where we have given you detailed information on how to go about the application process. We have also included a select language option on the right hand side of our screen through which you can select the language which you easily understand and by clicking one of the uh, listed uh, languages here all the information on our wiki procedure website page will be translated to the language of your choice and you can easily revert back to english by choosing english once again we have also included external links to other websites through which you can visit and get more information on how about to go the application process to get the work permit for an ngo you've also included links uh, to uh, application forms which is the work permit endorsement form and uh, other uh, links uh, to um of the application and a renewal of and for work permits and report on employments which you can easily download them through these uh, links which you provided them here and uh, you can also download it uh, by visiting the ngos board website uh, we, as we move on with our presentation we are going to see how uh, we can uh, fill in these forms uh, and how, where to submit them and the applicable fees when submitting them but before we continue i would like you to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get notifications every time uh, we upload new content so let's get back to our presentation and the list of items which are going to cover in this session include the need for the work permit and the need for the work work permit endorsement the eligibility criteria the required documents steps to follow making the applications the fees validity period process in time, office location and contact information and any other information that we may find relevant or not to apply for a non-governmental organization work permit. So welcome to our presentation today which is brought to you by wikiprocedure.com. The work permit endorsement and, and uh, uh, what the need for a work permit and work permit endorsement. Uh, this application allows a non-governmental organization uh, a non-governmental organization which wishes to hire foreign personnel who do not yet hold a work permit to get endorsement for a work permit uh, for the personnel by which the uh, for the personnel by the ngo organization board uh, in kenya for you to get uh, a, a work permit to work for an ngo you need also to get an endorsement by the uh, non-governmental organization and coordination board and this uh, application allows one to do the same the eligibility criteria is that none citizens of kenya or non-citizen employees in the in non-governmental organization are eligible to make this application for the work permit and endorsement the required documents are as follows you need a formal letter addressed to the executive director of the ngo coordination board requesting for endorsement you need a fully filled a work permit endorsement form do a uh, fully filled form 25 and form 27 from the uh, immigration department you are going to uh, speak further about this letter of appointment and contract from the employer all relevant copies of the applicant certificate and detailed curriculum uh, vitae of the applicant Certifi certificate copy of the applicant passport one to purpose size photo a copy of the advertisement uh, done uh, in at least one uh, daily uh, newspaper in kenya for the required position interview questions long and short list of applicants entailing name age sex uh, uh, contact and qualifications uh, understudy uh, who must be identified to take up the position upon uh, expiry of the work permit the understudy should be kenyan uh, provide a list of all employees in the organization entailing their names nationality job titles email address and mobile contacts uh, criminal clearance uh, an equivalent to the certificate of good conduct in good conduct in kenya from uh, the applicant's country of origin for first time applicants and this has to be certified by a registered local lawyer criminal clear and clim criminal clearance certificate from the cad kenya for all renewals uh, we have an application or uh, a procedure showing how you can do that you can check that out how to obtain a criminal clearance certificate in Kenya, copy of our previous permits or for renewal of permits, and where the documents are made in any other language other than English, a copy of the translation into English must be attached. The procedure to follow. Uh, this application can only be done in person and to apply for the work permit the applicant has to contact the uh, national uh, government organization coordination board offices with a formal application address to the executive director and request for endorsement 
Uh, this endorsement is done by filling a f uh, filling a work permit endorsement form available at the board's office, and you can also download this from the board's website. That's www.ngo bureau.or.ke and filled beforehand uh, the field application form should be submitted with all required documents and we've mentioned these documents and these include uh, the duly field renewal permits uh, that is the form number 25 from the uh, duly field renewal uh, of permit uh, of work permit that's the form number 25 from the department of immigration a report of employment form number seven from the department of immigration a letter of appointment from uh, and contact from the employer, all re relevant applicant certificate and CV, a uh, certified copy of the applicant's passport, a passport photo, copy of the advertisement, interview questions, that's the long, uh, long and short list of applicants uh, in telling uh, their details and uh, details of our understudy who we will take up the position and the understanding being a Kenyan. We have already mentioned these uh, documents. And after that, you should uh, continue to pay the processing fees and submit the receipt to the National Government Organization Coordination Board offices. And the application are charged as follows. For new application, the, uh, for work permit, 20,000 will be charged. For renewal, it's 20,000. For special pass, it's 16,000. For an appeal, it's 16,000. And after a completion of this process, you will receive feedback from the NGO Coordination Board within 30 days. So. Let's check out this uh, is done uh, before we continue. And uh, first of all, uh, uh, you need to have filled the uh, form number 25 and form number 27. Uh, form number 25, uh, let's go down to the documents to use. Form number 25 being the application for issuance or renewal of work permit and form number 27 which is the uh, report on employment so after filling these two forms is the uh, you're now supposed to submit these two forms and to the ngo coordination board uh, so you can uh, be given uh, the uh, you can be given this endorsement form uh, for recommendation of work permit and the ngo uh, coordination board will process the rest so the first uh, step is to make this application for issuance of work permit and uh, you can obtain this uh, form by uh, visiting the department of immigration or downloading it from our wiki procedure website page i'll uh, fill in the details uh they require your name your passport number your uh your details of your dependents and uh, um particulars if you've ever held a previous permit if you have uh, ever been rejected and now this is the this is to be called completed by the employer that your employer uh, is going to give uh, the name of their company uh, the place of employment the title your qualification uh, nature of employment period terms offered salary uh, if you have as uh, if they have taken steps to go make sure that they, that there is no uh, these um skill locally and if they have any under understudy the here the details of the understudy will be given here and after they have given the details uh, you're supposed to uh, attach uh, uh, you're supposed to attach this together with the form number 27 which is also supposed to be filled uh, by the employer giving details about uh, uh, the nature of the uh, of the organization uh, who is in charge where they're located and the number of expatriates who uh, who they have on board and the Kenyan standards uh, so together with these two forms and uh, the required documents you're supposed now to visit uh, the NGO board uh, office uh, NGO uh, coordination uh, board or uh, offices so they can issue you with this form uh, the endorsement form for for work permit and you can also download this from the, the website and here you're supposed now to uh, fill in the details uh, your personal details your uh, telephone number your age your uh, qualifications uh, the type of application if it's a fast um, or it's a renewal the category of the contract a reason for seeking um, employment as an expert trait if you have ever been employed locally before if um, you have an understudy if you're going to be uh, uh, training an understudy and uh, fill in the details of the expertise uh, from 
who are also uh, in your, the organization which you're joining and also the list of uh, key members uh, in the organization we who are Kenyan in the organization which are joining and I uh, submit this form to uh, the uh, NGO coordination board uh, together with these two forms you're supposed now to make the the fees they are uh, to pay the application fees uh, which are uh, 20,000 shillings for new uh, applications renewal is 20,000 special pass is 16 the appeal is 16 and payment should be made to the NGOs coordination board, ac board uh, account a number which is given here in cooperative bank the cooperative house branch and the uh, the, the validity of the work endorsement uh, will be one year uh, in which uh, the validity period is going to elapse and you'll have to apply again for renewal uh, together with the work permit and the processing time will be 30 days for the application to be completed so after 30 days you'll be uh, receive a call and be told to come and collect your work permit and the offices of the uh, NGO coordination board uh, they're located at uh, cooperative bank house Selassie, Nairobi Kenya you can visit them through their website of www.ngobureau.or.ke and you can also get more information about regional offices from there uh, which we are not going to mention at this uh, moment uh, other information is that uh, volunteers who uh, also require a work permit to, to, to work in Kenya however they are required uh, to prove how they will sustain themselves in Kenya without income and uh, all, all uh, positions should be advertised in at least one uh, national daily newspaper in Kenya prior to the recruitment process to make sure that there is no Kenyan who has uh, who is uh, as qualified for the position so thank you for watching our presentation today as you have seen it's quite simple and uh, before we conclude I would like you to hit the uh the like button hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you can get notifications every time we upload new content so thank you for watching and have a blessed day